Hello Aries, welcome to your love reading for the month of September. Please only take what fits for you and leave the rest behind. If this is your love story, comment below. And if not, you can always check your other zodiac placements for messages you need to hear. Other than that, please remember to like this video, comment, share, and subscribe for future readings. So before we get started, Aries, thank you for being here. Thank you to those of you who are subscribed and members of the channel for all of your love and support, your comments, your kindness, and especially those of you who have purchased personal readings in August. So I'm sure some of you have seen on the community tab, but I did extend my summer sale. So for those of you who would like a personal reading, you can take 50% off of the pricing on my website until the end of September. So you do still have some time to book that reading um, and of course, all of my information is listed in the description box below in all of my videos. So everything you need is down there. And when you submit a payment, just be sure to include your email address. That way I know who you are and how to get to you in a timely fashion. So once more, Aries, this is a general love reading, so it won't be for every single Aries, but of course you can reverse roles if necessary and never force the story to fit, okay? This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the lucky crotch watcher of an Aries. So let's start with the messages from the fairies, Aries, and see what spirit wants to relay to you at this time. What is the overall message for Aries here for the month of September? Let's get one more shuffle here. Okay. So first we're starting out with express yourself. Okay. Express your individuality. Allow your true self to shine because you're awesome. Okay. You are. Aries, you're a leader. You're so fiery, so independent, and you're really a fire starter. Okay. So um, your bold energy needs to be shared with the universe. Okay. Express yourself. Do not hide your personality. Um, otherwise, that's really not being authentic, right? So we have autumn, which obviously is coming up right after we, you know, end Virgo season. So it says in the fall season, everything comes together and you reap wonderful harvests of abundance. So whatever it is that you've been calling in, whatever you've been focusing on, whether this is um, a job, a, you know, a love relationship, anything, whatever you've been calling in, the fall is when it's gonna fall. Okay. That's when things are going to start to manifest and materialize. And you guys, just repeating the first card, we have be yourself. So just reiterating the first message here. This situation calls for you to be your authentic self, which is the basis for your personal power. All right. So always shine that light, Aries, and trust that you're doing the right thing. Whatever you feel in your soul is the right thing, then that's what it is. Okay. Never second guess yourself in that right so we're going to start with the Magical Grand Trumps Oracle, which is a deck that I created based on Once Upon a Time, the TV series. And of course, you can watch that show on Hulu or Disney+. Plus. I definitely recommend giving it a try if you haven't seen it. And of course, this deck can be purchased in my shop below. So if you collect tarot and oracle cards, this is a great one to add to your collection. So let's get into it. What is the overall vibe between you and this person? What's the overall energy that exists oh gosh Okay, so we're starting with the potion. Aries, you should definitely watch the Libra reading as this was a relevant energy, but this is about magic and alchemy and a cure or healing, transformation. It's also love spell, medicine. In the reverse, it could be poison or an illusion, but obviously I feel more so the upright energy was relevant here. So the potion, this is the energy of Prince Charming and Snow White's energy within a potion that creates true love okay so the, the potion of true love um equal to like true love's kiss and so i think that 
between you and this person, there's just a lot of magic, okay? There could be an equal balance of your energies um, and spirit is basically saying like the two of you are, are perfect together. You make the perfect potion. Um, I did see 444 when I was saying that. So again, this is like angel number central over here. I think that spirit's telling you, you and this person make a good team um, and there's nothing but love there, okay? So to clarify that energy, we have the ship, which is all about a spiritual path or journey, trusting your journey, um, and also explore, uh, excuse me, exploration and adventure. You guys, Mercury retrograde has come for me this season. So bear with me if I'm like stuttering or I can't find my words for a second. So yes, I do think this person knows that they are they are embarking on an adventure with you. This is a true spiritual path and connection. The two of you together equals love, okay? You plus me equals love. Isn't that a song? <laughs> Isn't that like an old school, like 90s song? <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about how this person is currently thinking about you and this connection. Of the cup. Oh my. So we've got this big cup of love, Belle and Rumpelstiltskin kissing in the image of the cup. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, of course not because my camera's being, <sighs> my camera's being so difficult. And again, Mercury retrograde has cometh for my soul <laughs> this season, but it says new relationship and romance, love, happiness, joy, this is also a card of conception, fertility, and pregnancy. So y'all be careful this month, this season for life, always, if you're not trying to get preggers. Um, but overall, it's an emotional offer and celebration of love. It's also a card of self-love. So I think this person is just fully aware that there's nothing but love here. They want to offer you their heart. They want to um, have this emotional connection with you. Now, uh, again, you guys, spoilers ahead if you haven't seen Once Upon a Time, but the cup, the teacup with the chip on the side of it is Belle's totem, okay, or her anchor, the thing that pulls her back to reality. It's what Rumpelstiltskin uses to bring her back. So I feel that there's a bit of an awakening happening for this person or realization just of how much they really do love you, okay? Um, so one more. And the Hierophant, yeah, so this person thinks you're marriage material. Also, um, you know, this is a card about religion and beliefs and uh, blind faith, conventional values, tradition. So I think that this person definitely sees you as someone who fits those boxes for them. Um, I do feel, too, that they're really trying to think of ways to take this commitment or to this relationship to a higher level of commitment, okay? Okay. So their feelings about you, let's talk about what's in their heart. The compass and the cricket. So yeah, their heart is literally pulling them in your direction. This is talking about true north and finding oneself, getting guidance and being at a crossroads mixed with the energy of the conscience, right from wrong, gut feelings, intuitive calling, good health, initiative, good luck, and emotional intelligence. So I think this person knows in their heart that the compass compass really makes me think of Pocahontas too even though I don't believe that's the story in the show but that's what it makes me think of right Snow White why did I say Snow White Pocahontas y'all <laughs> Pocahontas had the compass right and she was trusting her gut her feelings everything inside of her was telling her that it was right to be with John Smith in the Disney movie, right? So I think that's kind of the case here. This person's heart is pointing them towards you. They already know that it's the right thing to do um, to go on this journey with you, okay? So let's continue, even though I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to find the words. So what is this person's challenge? Okay. Oh my, all right, so Aries, their challenge is the sword and the tower. So I think that this person could be struggling to get clarity in regards to some sort of chaotic energy that is permeating in their life right now. The tower can be so many different things, right? Awakenings and realizations, chaos, changes and destruction, loss, confusion, pain, trauma, even divorce, separation, bankruptcy, and natural disaster energy. So if the 
sword in the tower are their challenge. They're struggling to gain mental clarity um, or even communicate in regards to what's going on. Um, so yeah, I think this person is looking to have a breakthrough in whatever their circumstances are. And uh, again, Mercury retrograde could definitely be causing that mental fog. Um, and they, they just don't have clarity right now. Okay. And that is challenging for them. So let's see what else. And again, like I said, this could definitely represent divorce and separation. So if you are someone who is in a third party, that's this is not going to be for everyone. But if you are someone who's in a third party, this person could be struggling to remove themselves from from that. Okay. Now the Hierophant also could represent that if this person is already in a marriage, they could be really thinking about that because again, if they have love for you, if they know that you and them make the perfect mixture and love potion and they're ready to go on this journey with you, but they're still holding on to something else. Well, you obviously know the tower will fall. Okay. Divine intervention will call if they are not being honest. All right. The sword as a challenge could also symbolize dishonesty. Um, but what are their likely actions moving forward? Hmm. Okay. Let's get one more. Yeah, so, you know, your person is manifesting their little booty off, okay? This is a card of potential and willpower, manifestation, inspired action, and confidence, okay? Also passion, but the world card coming up with it, I mean, y'all, like, this person desires to complete a major cycle in their life, and there's even an image of, of Emma and... Jim. I don't want to spoil it, but you can see them kissing and they're obviously getting married. Okay. So this is completion and fulfillment, harmony and celebration, union, integration, wholeness, travel, success, and accomplishments. So this person intends to manifest the ending of a major cycle in their life because I feel this is what they're seeking. I feel this is what they want, okay? They want to feel that completion and fulfillment. They want to have union and harmony. And if they are having a tower moment because they're in a previous connection, they clearly aren't feeling harmony there. Um, otherwise, the tower wouldn't be falling and causing all of this destruction in their life. Lives. So let's continue. What is this person's desired outcome here? Even though I feel like the world is their desired outcome, but let's continue. Mm. Yeah. So we've got Robin Hood as judgment and the door. So this person desires to, um, they desire to transform their life and to take this opportunity for a new beginning okay they want to walk through the door into the next chapter of their lives judgment says here reflection inner calling and awakening absolution reckoning and rebirth or atonement um, and then also life calling and things falling into place so remember this is the energy of the universe placing this person where they need to be judgment could even be a resurrection of something from the past so you know this could be referring to someone that you've known that you've been waiting to reunite with and again this person is looking forward to walking through that door okay this is an opportunity that they don't want to miss out on so uh, i think too it says secrecy and intimacy here so i think this person could even be keeping this information to themselves and keeping quiet about their feelings about what they've decided to do because judgment could also be a judgment call um bottom of the deck the spell book so going back to the the ma uh, magician okay this person definitely is manifesting they want this to happen they're trusting themselves and their skill they are finding the will within themselves to make this happen okay um, they want to create a new life they want to be with you okay they do that's what I feel especially we're starting out with the potion this person is thinking about offering you their love 
And then look at this, you guys. Underneath the deck, underneath that card is the soulmates card. So connection of minds, mutual respect, unconditional love, total understanding, being yourself, okay, and trust. So Aries, I think the reason that this person is so attracted to you is because of your authenticity, okay? And also they can probably be themselves. They feel natural around you. It's not hard. Okay, it's not looking around the corner and behind your shoulder for the next tower moment to fall. And I just saw 1444 on the screen. So you guys, I really feel like this is all being divinely guided. And even though there may be some struggle or some chaos with that tower right now, this person definitely knows what they want. Okay, they know what they want. They know that this is not an opportunity that they care to miss out on. So let's get some advice. Let's see what spirit is wanting to relay. Ooh, so we have the gentleman and the anchor. So this represents divine masculine, also the ace of cups once again. And then we have the anchor, the nine of swords. So, you know, spirit could just be telling you, Aries, don't allow yourself to suffer in silence or, or cause more anxiety and stress for yourself by worrying about things you can't control in regards to this person right here, okay? Um, tap into your own divine masculine energy and take action in your own life from a place of love, right? Ace of Cups does symbolize self-lovery. So, you know, obviously I think a lot of you may be feeling anchored down by the separation or by the uh, tower energy happening in your person's life. But spirit does not want that for you, okay? They're telling you to release your doubts and anxieties and fears about the things that you cannot control, okay? It's time to trust that everything is happening for you and not to you, okay? So let's get some messages from this person. Let's find out what they want to relay to you at this time. Okay, so we have a little chonk over here, but let's take this one first. You are all I can think about, okay? They're thinking about this love, this soulmate connection. I act cold, but it's only because I don't want to get hurt, okay? So once more, if this person isn't really being totally honest with you right now about their feelings, and they're just really more so internalizing this love, then spirit is telling you they do that as a means of protecting themselves. And you know what? That could be learned behavior from a previous connection um, going all the way back into childhood even. So I'm facing my shadows without you, okay? So this person wants to clean up their life and, and sweep up the mess from the tower before they start this new cycle with you. I know we will be together someday. Okay, yes. I still want you even though I don't show it, right? So like I said, I have a feeling this person isn't really being honest with you about how they feel. They're keeping to themselves, um, not releasing <laughs> privileged information <laughs> due to, again, the mess that they need to clean up in their lives. So let's get one more shuffle for Aries, please. I know I need to make things right. And time stands still when I'm with you. So, you know, again, this soulmate connection, once more, I think this person, they feel like things are easy when you are together. They feel like everything just sort of fits into place. They're not wondering or waiting or looking over their shoulder when it comes to you. All they can feel is love. And, uh, and yeah, you know, this could be one of those feelings too. When you're with this person, everybody else in the room disappears. Okay. So hopefully this resonated with you guys. And again, this is not going to be for everyone, but if it was for you, don't forget to drop a like on this video, comment below. And, uh, of course you guys, if you're wanting to go deeper into your own personal story, you can always book that personal reading and the deets are down in the description box below. So other than that, there will be other readings that I'll be posting this month. So you'll have more to look forward to. And uh, other than that, I love you guys and I will see you again soon. Bye.